approved before it is published. Few Soviet citizens can understand the American notion of a free press, but many would like freer access to Western scientific and technical ideas. The Bolshevik revolutionaries recognized that the arts could be powerful tools in molding the new society. Motion pictures in particular were used to bring socialist ideas to the people. The fine arts of music and painting can also carry political messages. And since the 1930s, there has been no place for the artist who is an individual. All professional artists are workers and of course belong to a union. An artist whose work criticizes the motherland, its leaders, or socialism, is certain to be expelled from the union. If that happens, there is no legal way for the artist to make a living. Those who do not conform to the official style of socialist realism are no longer arrested as they were in Stalin's time. But in general, art must be useful, and experimentation is discouraged. <laughs> 